I was three years old when I lost my father uh, in a war. I could barely, you know, say Papa. I could barely say Mama. The words were snatched from my mouth. I have very few memories of my father. The army cargo jackets—they have a lot of pockets. And technically, uh, now when I think about it, those pockets are meant to keep ammunition. They're meant to keep cartridges. They're meant to keep bullets, which are such deadly weapons. So I go hug him and I put my hand in his pocket because I know there's going to be chocolate. So all those cargo jackets are filled with my favorite chocolates and fruities, and I am the happiest child in the world because I got chocolates. And it's just so sad that I'm never going to have those chocolates again. That it was the last time somebody would, you know, come and get me chocolate. It was told to me or announced to me that you know my dad's no more. So mummy is like, "Will Papa? But he will not come back anymore." I saw dad in a coffin. With the tiranga on it, a lot of hatred that is being spread about certain religions. It affects a small child's brain in a very intense way. Pain and so much of negativity brewing inside of me. The conversation surrounding such sensitive topics like religion, race, nationality happened to me when I was almost learning how to talk. And it's just so wonderful to. You know, to know that you know I have this religious tolerance, and I realize that there isn't really much difference between two children or two people to young girls. When you see things at face value and not by what has been taught to you or what has been said by a third party, between two countries, hatred between two people is just senseless. People dying, real people like my father, like somebody else's father. Somebody needs to like. step up and really needs to talk about it how my mother talked to me and if i can stand here and say all these things and believe in certain things i feel like anyone can believe in them i don't think i hate anybody so countries mein bhai chara would be victory for me